Well, it was the break in a homicide case that investigators had been in search of for nearly 40 years today. The Smith County Sheriff's Office identified the 27 year old Jane Doe, who was found off of I-20 back in 1985. Fox 51's Ashlyn Anderson was there as Smith County Sheriff Larry Smith detailed how they came to a name and Ashlyn, what can you tell us? Katie, today the Smith County Sheriff's Office identified their 1980s Jane Doe. We now know she is Cindy Gina Crow and was last seen in the Dallas area. After 38 years, Smith County Sheriff Larry Smith has finally given a 27 year old unidentified woman her name back. The remains were identified as Cindy Gina Crow, a white female with a date of birth of September 12, 1957. The original investigator on the case, David Turner, vividly remembers being called out to the scene off of Interstate 20 on October 1st, 1985. This is the next day after we found the remains and we went back up there with uh, metal detectors. For decades, all leads to her identity failed to hold up. There was no ID on her, no missing report on her. Efforts like this original rendering and drawings of her age progression brought no new clues until a partnership formed with the DNA Doe Project. Our team was able to build the family trees of matching DNA relatives. Common ancestors were found amongst them, suggesting that these ancestors were also in the tree of our unidentified person. By using technology, research, and science, the nonprofit was able to figure out the long mystery. A close relative was on this match list, saving the team hours of work and pointing us in the to the correct candidate in a matter of hours. Something also made possible due to the tenacity of Mr. Turner, who kept hope until this day. I've always said before, I. Uh, pass through the gates. I want to identify. So, feels good. Crow will now have a proper burial with the headstone that can read her name, Cindy Gina Crow. And Sheriff Smith says the next step is to figure out how the woman died. But with the amount of time that has passed, he said that part of this case will be very difficult. In studio, Ashlyn Anderson, Fox 51 News.